Elon Musk will have developed a cure for most mental disorders, addictions, and depression with this product. Tesla and SpaceX CEO and billionaire owner Elon Musk has just dropped the bomb of an update that revealed more details about his latest mysterious tech startup. We go over all the bits and bobs in this latest video. Elon Musk will have developed a cure for most mental disorders, addictions, and depression with this product. Welcome to Trending's Finest, where we give you the hottest updates on the world's most viral news, videos, and stories in the most exciting format. Click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to not miss a single beat of the world's polls. In a product update streamed over YouTube on August 28th, Tesla and SpaceX CEO and billionaire owner Elon Musk joined Neuralink staffers wearing black masks to discuss the company's work toward an affordable brain implant that Musk believes billions of consumers will clamor for in the future. What does it do exactly? And how does it do it? When will it be out? Most importantly, how much will it cost? Stay tuned to find out all the answers. Neuralink Brain Chip The Neuralink Brain Chip is Musk's solution to fight against mental disorders like depression and addiction and brain diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Founded in 2016, Neuralink steadily developed this mini brain chip that's like a sewing machine device composed of tiny, flexible threads that are 10 times thinner than a human hair that connect the human brain to computers. Called Link V0.9, the current prototype features 1,024 channels for gathering information, which Musk says is around 100 times better than the next best consumer device. With a diameter of 23 millimeters and a thickness of 8 millimeters, 0.9 by 0.3 inches, the implant is designed to sit flush with the skull and run on an all-day battery that can be recharged inductively like a smartwatch with no need for wires. The brain chip can be processed through a surgical robot that'll implant the thin wire into a person's brain. Musk explained that the process involves removing a chunk of the skull, then a small robot inserts electrodes into the brain, and the device about one inch in diameter, similar to the face of a smartwatch, into the hole with only a small scar left behind. Once it's inside the brain, it'll be connected to an external computer processing unit and will make a wireless connection with the computer and the human brain. With everything we've ever sensed or thought being electrical signals, Neuralink can be used to retrain the part of the brain which is responsible for causing addiction or depression. Basically, people are calling the brain chip as the medium to make future humans into cyborgs. This doesn't just cure addiction or depression, Musk explains. If you've got an interface into the motor cortex, and then an implant that's like a microcontroller near muscle groups, you can then create a sort of neural shunt that restores somebody who's quadriplegic to full functionality, like they can walk around, be normal, maybe slightly better over time. Hasta la vista, wheelchair. The secret under the hood. The more explicit purpose of the futuristic brain chip is to provide humans with a more highly advanced artificial intelligence technology. Monitoring electrical signals from the brain and decoding them for different purposes could open up all kinds of possibilities, from allowing paralyzed people to regain control of their limbs to the treatment of conditions like depression and chronic pain. These types of devices could intervene in these types of conditions, not just by monitoring the electrical signals traveling from neurons to the brain, but by correcting the ones that are breaking down. Mental disorders are diseases that are still incurable by medicine intake. There are therapies, but patients have no exact cure to heal from the brain disorder fully. Brain complications like depression or addiction are the ones that reach the highest rates in the United States, especially since the start of the lockdown. Neuroscientists agree that placing electrodes in the brain could help mitigate those conditions. In fact, researchers outside of Neuralink are working on it now. The treatment involves applying electrodes to a spot in the brain called the internal capsule and works by stimulating connections to the prefrontal cortex to improve cognitive functions such as perception and judgment. In several countries, opioid addicts have had electrodes implanted into areas of the brain that control addiction. That includes the U.S., 
where a West Virginia man underwent a procedure late in 2019 at WVU Rockefeller Neuroscience Institute. He has abstained from opioids since, a spokeswoman said. A second opioid patient followed just last month. For Neuralink, the first clinical trials will be in a small number of patients with severe spinal cord injuries to make sure it works and is safe. Last year, Musk said he hoped to start clinical trials on people in 2020. Long-term, Musk said they will be able to restore full motion in people with those types of injuries using a second implant on the spine. That's not all, folks. Keep watching to discover the company's bumpy road ahead, their vision of human AI biosymbiosis, and most importantly, how much it'll cost you to get one of these handy-dandy brain thingamajigs. It might be cheaper than you think. Hurdles Ho. Let's first be clear. These coin-sized chips are still a ways off from being useful to humans. Friday's live-streamed YouTube demonstration was on a pig named Gertrude, who Musk said had a brain chip implanted two months earlier, where the chip was used to broadcast the animal's neural activity in real time as it waddled around a pen. Having received a breakthrough device designation from the FDA in July, Neuralink is on track for human trials by next year. To test so quickly in humans, the company would need to get an exemption from the normal multi-year regulatory process from the Food and Drug Administration. That may be possible. Other brain implants have received exemptions, but Neuralink's device could face additional challenges. One member of the team in the demonstration said that one of the main challenges for Neuralink was making sure the device could last for decades in a corrosive environment like the brain. Currently, the company uses flexible polymers, which are unlikely to last a decade in the human body. The minimum time frame the FDA likes to see in medical devices that can't easily be removed. According to two anonymous former employees, the company had explored possibly bypassing the U.S. regulatory process by pursuing human trials in China or Russia. When asked about these concerns, Musk assured the public that the company is working closely with the FDA and will be extremely rigorous to make sure they significantly exceed the FDA guidelines for safety and make this as safe as possible. When asked about the risks involved with placing a foreign object in the body, Musk said there is a very low potential risk for rejection. People put in heart monitors and things for epileptic seizures, deep brain stimulation, artificial hips and knees, that kind of thing, he said, noting that it's well known what is the cause for rejection or not. Aside from that, there's been a lot of turnover at the company since it launched in 2017. Only two members of the founding team still work at Neuralink. A report in health news site Stat News detailed internal tensions at Neuralink, citing former employees who said the company culture could be chaotic and that it quickly cycled through scientific talent. Researchers were under intense pressure to rush through projects. Scientists were sometimes given weeks to complete projects that should take months, for example. One employee reportedly said they're building a medical device and a surgical approach to implant that medical device, and they're approaching it with the use of a tech company. Move fast and break things. There have also been doubts about the technology with the renowned linguist and philosopher Noam Chomsky questioning whether it would be possible to communicate using only thoughts. Developing methods by which if I'm thinking of moving my hand, you might be able to pick up the electrical signals that say he's trying to move his hand. That's conceivable, Mr. Chomsky told the website Inverse in 2017, shortly after the project was made public. But he added, trying to find out what I'm thinking, let's say there's no way of developing technology because we don't understand how to proceed. The technology is just nowhere near advanced enough. Don't worry, we'll be sure to update you as the story of this secretive startup unfolds. We got you, fam. Future plans. Rock climb without fear. Play a symphony in your head. See radar with superhuman vision. Discover the nature of consciousness. Cure blindness, paralysis, deafness, and mental illness. Those are just a few of the applications that Elon Musk and employees at his four-year-old neuroscience company Neuralink believe electronic brain-computer interfaces will bring about. In the short term, Neuralink will be used to treat brain diseases such as Parkinson's, while the long-term ambitions for the technology is to allow humans to compete with artificial intelligence. He also revealed that the technology could develop into an ultra-high bandwidth 
full brain machine interface in just 25 years, which would enable symbiosis between humans and AI. If you can't beat them, join them seems to be the mantra of Musk, as he's been quoted as saying, we're already a cyborg to some degree. Beyond the brain-computer interface, Musk envisions that we won't be able to communicate with the computer, but more with one another. Not only thoughts, but sensory experiences could be communicated from brain to brain. Someone on holiday could beam a neural postcard of what they're seeing, hearing, or tasting into the mind of a friend back home. This may sound more like science fiction, but such an eventuality is not entirely far-fetched according to leading scientists in the field of brain-computer interfaces. A 2019 report by the Royal Society outlined how neural interfaces could allow people to communicate silently by reading each other's minds. People could become telepathic to some degree, able to converse not only without speaking, but without words, through access to each other's thoughts at a conceptual level, the report stated. Ultimately, Elon Musk hopes to achieve some sort of symbiosis with AI, to a degree that would make human language obsolete. To achieve this futuristic end state, the company is continuously looking to recruit robotics, electrical and software engineers to work on the device and refine the surgical procedure for the implementation. As for the price tag, if you're ready for the next step in human AI evolution, Musk said this device would be quite expensive when it first launches, but that he wants to get the price down to a few thousand dollars. I think it should be possible to get it similar to LASIK, he said. Not too pricey to take part in a real-life episode of Black Mirror, eh? With this futuristic brain chip, neuroscience startup Neuralink is really on a mission to develop next-generation brain implants. The question is, would you be willing to try it out yourself? Tell us in the comments down below so we can talk about it some more. If you're truly ready to step into the future, then look no further for the latest breakthroughs in science. Check out our other videos, especially Japan's Flying Cars by 2023. We give you all the juicy techie details of this futuristic DeLorean-esque invention and the team's plans to launch it by 2023, including how much a ride to the future will cost you. Thanks for watching. This is Trending's Finest. Always the trendiest, always the finest.